Alrighty guys, good evening. Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden Delta Garage once again here in beautiful Alabama. Mr. Don Robinson. Okay. Alright, this thing. <laughs> you know, RGA sit in about 40 minutes. Hard drive, about six hours. <laughs> But anyways, okay, Donnie here sent me in this slime, or I should say Slim E, okay, and this thing has a two terabyte drive, alright, that's what we wanted in it, it's like, okay, so we rgh would it, it's up on live servers, along with a 10 day trial, the purge for GTA 5, now, ah, Good evening, Sebastian. How are you? Good to see you. Nathan, what's happening? So, anyway, Mike, good evening. Anyway, uh, this maniac here, Sean, good to see you. Well, everybody's popping in. Uh, so this thing's got a two terabyte drive in it, okay? And, you know, it was ascending, and it was, it's a Corona, it's a V5, and the things, you know, they're really, they're, they're fun to RGH. So let me tell you, they have a mind of their own, I promise. But, anyway, all said and done, we got it stuffed, okay? <laughs> like a freaking turkey. <laughs> it, it took me longer with the drive than it did with the, uh, with the RGH. Engine. So, anyway, with that, tell you what we'll go ahead and do. Hey, sir. Hey, Sherman. Ah, there's Don. Don, what's up? <laughs> I'm doing, I, Sebastian, I'm doing as well as I can, man. As you can tell, it's 1142. I'm still working on these things. <laughs> But it's all good. I'm not complaining. I'm happy. Okay? I'm happy. I'm doing what I love. So anyway, uh, needless to say, here it is. It's all done. We're going to boot it up right now. Okay? Now, remember, this is a Corona V5. Okay? And, um, hopefully, it's got, uh, it's got a pretty decent boot time. I really do have to admit. But anyway, I'm going to sync this up. Let me sync up a controller here, okay? And what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and, um, Pay attention to the screen, because there's a lot to take in, alright? Man, this drive is, like, freaking huge. <laughs> and you still got space left, by the way, alright? You still got space left. So, anyway, we're booting up in the FSD dash now, alright? There you are. You got your welcome to your lines and all that. Now, Don, you know how to run an, an RGH. I don't have to tell you. You bought from me in the past. You have several. All right, but I'm going to show you some things on this one here, okay? All right, here you go. All right, we'll start off here. Right now, emulators, we've got, we've got three, okay? Over 4,000 ROMs just on that one alone. And then we have main, and we have Genesis Plus 360. They all work, okay? Xbox Classic Games. Now, this is where it gets a little crazy, as you can see. There's a lot more on here just in the classic games, okay? And I took as much time as I could, alright? So, you know, yeah, there's a lot, alright? Then we have the homebrew section, you know, where all the tools reside, okay, that we need. We have Xbox Live Arcade, okay? There is more stuff on here, okay? I, I, I mean, there's a title that they don't even have the cover for it, okay? I mean, you have got... I mean, it just goes on and 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 on, okay? And I mean, you know, I mean, and it's just like, Jesus Christ, okay? Anyway, there you go, all right? I mean, and I didn't even get through all of them. All right. Then we have this. And, like I said, there is, you, I, I don't think you're going to be bored with this thing anytime soon, okay? All right? Because, I mean, there is just like, and it keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay? I mean, you got, okay. Oh, goody, family guy with Stewie. Okay, you know what I mean? And it just, all right, anyway, you get the idea, okay? All right, I mean, there is, like, some really good titles in there. Oh, we don't have doubles here, though. Let me, let, let me change that. Hang on here. I'm going to put that in here. Okay, that's better. Okay. 
Yeah, there is no doubles. I don't like doubles. But as you can see, there is like a slew. Okay? <laughs> I mean, literally a slew. <laughs> I don't see how you're going to get bored with this thing. Okay? I really don't. <laughs> okay, Sebastian, that's cool, brother. That's cool. So, um, hey, Matthew, how are you, man? Good to see you. Games and more. Yeah. Of course you can play RGH offline, man. Yeah, you just boot it up in, in bypass mode. Just just power it on and hit the eject. And hit the tray and uh, let it sit there. And then uh, once it boosts the dash, just push the tray back in. You're good to go. You don't have to be online. You can do anything you want. Right now, right now, TJ, right now this is 2 terabyte. There's still 839.4 gigabytes left. Okay? You know? So, you know, I mean, there's plenty of space for him to even add stuff to it. You know, I mean, you know, I, I mean, I stuffed as much as I could. <laughs> you know, a lot of time that I have, you know, it's just, oh. But anyway, okay, look, there you go. To get to the original dashboard done, you know how to do that. Okay, I don't have to tell you. Okay, I'm going to boot up. I'm going to see, there you are. Hello again, Don Robinson. You're on the line. It's live. Everything is cool. All right. Bypass the sign-in. Of course, this KV is on dead. Oh, by the way, thank you for having family settings on there. Okay? Yes, you have family settings set on. I had to go into the SMC and I had to go find the code because why? I didn't, I, I didn't say J-Runner, but no mobile. Alright? So there I am and there is the family settings. I'm like, going like, you son of a... <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> okay? It doesn't have family settings anymore. Nina Nina Boo Boo, yeah, I, 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 I can rip that right off the console, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I win. Ha! I think. Anyway, um, yeah, as you can see, you're up, you're online, you're live. My beautiful eyeball placing HUD, over in our fifth tab, I'll go shoot some Modern Warfare 3 cheats to get back to FFD Dash. You know the drill, just smash, uh, just, just smash A and Xbox home, and you, and that'll take you back to the state. Now, Don, there is something different about this one, too. Alright, I put the multi-dash setup on here. So, if you like Aurora... Okay, um, with a little bit more polish, you can do, you can do that. Um, I see your word right here. Okay, look. Alright, we'll go in there. And we'll go here. Okay? Now. Alright, there's a roar. Man, that's a lot of content. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, with Aurora, you got RB and LB. Okay? So this is really that that will bring up a sub menu, and then you then you maneuver around with the D pad, okay? So right now we'll hit RB, okay? We'll go to Xbox 360 games. All right, there's all your 360 games, okay? A whole heap of them and then some. All right, we're still going, we're still going, we're still going, we're still going. <laughs> there, okay? We're back. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a lot of games. All right, Xbox Live Arcade, yep. And we're going. And we're going. And we're going. I'm not even going to go there, okay? I'm going to hit RB again. We use the D-pad. All right, there's your homebrew right there. Remember to unlock your titles, okay, with uh, XM360 after you load your profile on here. Okay, remember to do that. You don't unlock the titles, man. See, <laughs> everything will show up as a demo and all this crap, okay? Hit RB again. Go over to Classic Games, yep. And there's a... There's no title for that one. There's no title cover for that. Sorry. I didn't do it. I'm going to have to do a screenshot of it and actually make that a title cover for you. But anyway, yeah, and you got all of your original Xbox games right there. Okay? Hit RB again. Then we have our indie game. Okay? Now, you know, this is where all the crazy stuff. And there are some really uh, very, very hard to get titles on here that they don't even have the covers for. Okay? The Amazing Princess Sarah, yeah, Ooh. looking good, mm. that might be my new favorite, oh, uh, but I got double cleavage there, nah, that's not my new favorite, so anyway, yeah, there is the, yeah, there's, there's 25 indie games on here, man, okay, so, you know, I mean, there you go, alright, and then, of course, we're back to show off, alright, and that's everything that's on the hard drive, okay, so, there you go, alright, I hope that this is all making sense to you, okay, yeah, you'll be busy for a very long time. Hey, Seth, how are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Yeah, uh, multi-dash. Yes. I know you used to the FSD, Don, but, you know, I mean, you might want to try this. It's pretty It's pretty cool. You know, I mean, it really is. But if you used to FSD, hell, man, use FSD. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter. As long as it does the same thing that everything else does, 
That's all that matters, okay? Anyway, um, if you want to change the defaults, all you got to do, man, is this, all right? Look, go to Homebrew, go to Dash Launch, all right? Now, just go to Paths, all right? This is real easy. See how it's default for, for FSD? All right, you got Button B for, um, you got Button B for FX Menu, a Button Y for, for the original Dash, and then Aurora is L Bump. So, it was left bumper. So, when you're booting this thing, when you come to the Xbox logo, you can press any of the corresponding buttons, and that's what dashboard will bring up. Okay, very easy. Now, if you wanna if you wanna set a default for for yourself, just hit A, and then um you know back out the double dot folder, go to Aurora, set Aurora, there you go, R B, X, B, and now it'll start Aurora. Okay, it's very simple, and it's not a big deal. There's nothing special about it. But, it, you know, I mean, like I'm saying, no, you know, it's all there for you. So you can choose whichever dashboard you want to, you want to, you want to run. Okay? So, you know, I mean, it, you know, I was, I, I was about, I wanted to make this thing comfortable for everybody. That's why I did this. Okay? That's why I put all of them on there and said, have fun. Whatever you want to do. There it is. It's all there. Okay? That way then you don't have to run around and inject this thing, copy from the USB, you know, no, it's already on the damn console. So you ain't got to worry about it. Alright, now, alright, we'll go back to homebrew section right here, and we'll go to dash launch, and I'll set it back to FSD for you. You might want to play around with Aurora, though, you might like it, you know, I mean, you know, I'm not saying don't, you know, I mean, but you might like it, you never know, okay? So, we'll go down to freestyle right here, and we'll go to default XEX, there we go. It's easy, it's just a couple clicks of the button, you run whatever you want. Alright, and then we hit B, and now we boot back up in the FSD dash, okay? Now, you already know how to get it online and everything, alright? I don't have to go through that with you. You know, you pull a hard drive and all that crap, okay? I mean, I'm sure, you know, you've had RGHs from me before. You know exactly how to set it up, okay? So that's cool. There is one thing, though, about the original games, okay? Play the original games. If you try to play the original games with my server loaded, okay, with this right here... Not good. It will not work. What will happen is, is you will wind up with a, uh, here. You'll wind up with this. A completely black screen will just sit there and do absolutely nothing. Alright? So, how we do this, how do we run the original game? It's real easy. And this is what's going back to where that gentleman asked me if you can play the RGH offline. Of course. It was actually built to be played offline. Okay? The only reason why they added online capabilities was for mod menus because of Ninja, okay? But before Ninja, this thing was made to be played offline, okay? That's what it was built for originally, okay? So, it was built to have fun in mod games and everything, in your own games and stuff like that. It was never built to go online. But then they came, they went ahead and caused me dash launch and, you know, and then ED9, also known as Tie-Dye, you know, and, 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 and for the gesture, they came up with Ninja, my sweet. Actually, Tie Dye came up with Ninja. <laughs> and, um, you know, ever since then, there you go. You know, I mean, that happened in 2012. So this thing was meant to play, be played offline. All right. Now, you can either boot it up in bypass mode, or what you can do is you can take the server out of plug in too, which is really easy to do. And once you take the server out, it's not going to go to the server. And you can play it with it connected to the internet so you can have mod menus and stuff that is, if you have mod menus, they'll still connect. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So anyway, to get this thing so you can play the original games, alright, this is what you do, Don. Hit the power, hit eject, let the tray hang out until it reaches the dashboard, okay? Now, already booted, we're good. Like I said, not a bad boot time for this thing. Considering it's a V5, geez, these things don't like to boot, I'm telling you. You really gotta play with them. Alright, now... You're not going to get any plugins. Do not push the train until you reach the dashboard. All right, when you reach the dashboard, now you can push the train, okay? And then you can go to whatever game you want to go to on Xbox Classic Games. All right. Uh, here anyway, what? Let's do um. Let's do this one here. There you go. There it goes. And it'll take off. And there you are. Okay, Classic Gotham Racing, okay? When you get sick of it, okay? When you get sick of it, just hit the guide button. 
Okay? Hey, let's box home. You're good. Okay, it'll bring you back. Emulators you can run on the, uh, on, you know, on the server or off the server, it doesn't matter. Now, to answer that other gentleman's question, okay, even though it is late. Hey, Chris, how are you, man? Good to see you. Oh, yeah, great. The, the boo unicorn. There he is, okay? Tyler, good to see you. <laughs> okay. My day was crazy, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Maniac Mandela. Yeah, that'd be me. <laughs> now, look, okay, to answer that other gentleman's question, okay, when he asked me if you could play it offline. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, you just go to your homebrew, go to Dash Launch, right? And then click on Dash Launch, okay? And then what you do is you can go down to Plugins. All right, now you'll see. Always leave XBDM in there. Don't ever take out XBDM. Please do not. All right, that's this networking and all that crap. Without that, this thing will, you, you, you'll have a nightmare. Okay, um, you need that also to connect to 360 to, to the neighborhood. All right, now, okay, here you go. All right, that's where the server is and plug into it. Now, you can easily just remove that with Y and then save the launch any and, you know, and then you don't have to worry about, you know, boot it up with, with the eject button. Okay, that's one way to take it out. JRPC2, that is a menu system where, you know, you have so many set plugins here, but, well, you can edit the text file and you can put as many plugins as you want on JRPC2, all right? So then that way, then you're not just held to five plugins, okay? Plugin 4, you notice, is empty. You can put the um, Matrix Mod menu in that or whatever for CODs and all that crap, all right? And then, of course, we have the Purge, and that's in Plugin 5, okay? Pretty easy, all right? So all you got to do is just, is just hit Y and there, it's gone, Okay? And then save the file, and it won't it, it won't boot the server. Okay. Then if you want to put it back, just go to HDD, scroll down to Alliance, hit it. There, server's back. Really simple. Okay. Like I said, very simple. So you know, and this thing plays happily offline, no problems whatsoever, none. So we'll go ahead, and what we'll do is, is um, then we'll go ahead and we'll hit the RB, and then we will go ahead and we'll hit X, save the in. And then we'll hit B. Like I said, it's very tunable. You can do anything you want with it, okay? I mean, you can even, okay, I don't know if you know this or not, but FSD and Aurora, they have a plugin called Link. All right? Now, Link, let me find you here. Hold on here. Okay, just a little lesson here. All right, let's see here. The yeah, JQE 360, yep, yeah, that was the password. Now, that's that's known as Unity now, okay? You know, I mean, you, may, you go to Unity, uh, Unity for uh, Xbox 360, okay? And then you can put your profile in, auto sign in, and all that crap. Okay, right? Then, uh, let's see here now. Okay, uh, system plugin settings. There you go. All right? See? Your FSD plugin is loaded. All right? F3 plugin. You can enable link. Right? Then you enable UMP and P for port mapping. Your data port, this will, this will go ahead. And you might have to forward these ports through your router. But once you do that, Everything is fine. That any that any game that is system link compatible, okay, any game on here, you can go to FSD Link and play online with other modders, okay. And they do have uh, they do have lobbies, and you know uh, they set the lobbies up where you know if you're going to play stock, you're going to play stock. Do not go in there with a mod menu or whatever because the only thing you'll do will, will be you will be banned from it, okay. They have certain areas where you can. You know, use your mod menus and stuff. I mean, you can play with other people, all right? You know, it's that simple, all right? And hopefully, with the advent of, uh, you know, of Xbox 1.0 coming back, hopefully they will add that into this little machine right here on the emulation side, and then you can play online original Xbox on your 360 on a, live, on a real... Live server. It's not. It's not being produced by Microsoft. It's being produced by a private party. Okay, you need to check that out. All right. But um, there's a lot of things in here that a lot of people don't know. Yeah, and to this day, I don't know why they don't know because they haven't looked at um, you know, at uh, at YouTube and you know, modern warfare and all that. But there is a bunch of stuff on here that people haven't even tapped. Okay, the only thing they knew from from like 2014 to now was. GTA 5, mod menu, you want to kill people, destroy lobbies, and all that happy nonsense. Okay? And COD. 
Well, I, I, you know, you just want to, you know, go into go into a live menu. They'll go on live and and wreck people's lives or whatever and do whatever they want to do, you know, or actually help people. Uh, when when that would that would be far and few in between because I've seen so many people like wreck entire lobbies. It's not funny. They think it's funny. I, I find it stupid. Okay, you know, I just find it completely stupid. You can't enjoy the game. Why the hell do you want to bother that? Okay, but that's becoming a thing of the past now, which is good. Thank God. All right, and um, you know, I mean, like I said, there, there, there's a lot more to this than just getting online and modding accounts and all this crap. Okay, yeah, it was big in 2014, all the way up to through like 2018, 2019. But now it's like, no, you know, there's a lot more to it than that. And everybody has to realize that they have to, that there's a lot more, and that there's a lot more out there, and there's so much more to learn because these kids they don't even know about half of what this thing can do. That's one of the problems, okay? That's why I do these videos, because it might enlighten some people that, hey, this thing can do a lot more than what just a regular 360 can do. Yeah! Okay? Holy shit! Okay? And, you know, what's really funny is the original Xbox is coming back. And there's a bunch of people on it. And it's crazy. They're like, well, that's old. Yeah, well, guess what? <laughs> just freaking thousands of people that are tell you you're an idiot. All right? Okay? <laughs> So I can sit there and laugh at those people because they're they're just lost. But uh, they don't even need to be in here to be honest with you. Okay, you know, I mean, but anyway, needless to say, there's a lot to it. Okay, so you know, I mean, like I said, explore the system. Okay, you know, I mean, get on YouTube, YouTube, uh, you know, FSD Link, YouTube, uh, you know, Aurora Network. Yeah, I mean, I mean, YouTube, YouTube, everything about this thing, and you'll see it. There's a lot more to it than just mod menus. Way more. Okay. So, anyway, there you go, alright? So anyway, guys, okay, Christopher Beam, how are you, man? In the midnight, yeah, living after midnight. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go get disturbed. <laughs> now I might get the original Judas Priest, I'm old school. But anyway, um, you know, I mean, like I said, you know, I mean, you got two terabytes of, of, of fun right here, okay, Don? So, you know, you're all good. And, uh, you know, like I said, guys, look. If you have any questions or anything, hell, hit the group up, hit me up, hit Lorraine up, you know, I mean, if you have questions about these things, fine and dandy, you know, when I get the time, I don't mind answering questions, I don't, it's just when I don't have the time and I gotta have my face in a friggin' one of these, you know, I mean, you know, it's like, it's like, okay, I don't have the time to talk right now, okay, I'm sorry, alright, you know, my brain, it's fragile, see, very fragile, okay, just like me, anyway, listen, <laughs> Oh, my fragile little mind. All right. Anyway, listen, guys, look, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, Christopher, Xbox 1.0, man. I've got mine. I've got mine all ready to go. I've got, I got. I want to get in a beta test team for that, you know? I'm going to talk with the guy. I'm going to get in a beta test team for that thing. I'm telling you right now. Because I'm getting on there. And then hopefully Chris Wright can get on there. And then him and I can fight it out in freaking Halo. And I can shove a plasma grenade up his ass. All right? Anyway. Oh, look, it's sticky. <laughs> So, <laughs> pistols only. Let's go, Chris. You and me. All right? Anyway, uh, listen, guys. Okay, thanks for hanging with me. All right? I, I appreciate it. All right? Don, thank you for your business, man. I really appreciate it. I hope that you like what I did with this thing. I mean, like I said, man, you've got... There is so much stuff on here. I mean, it's just nuts. Okay? I mean, just nuts. You know, I, 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 I mean, I can I, I, Ridiculous amount of freaking, I don't know, insanity. So, you know, I mean, in, uh, you know, and I mean, what I really love too is, you know, I mean, we even scratch the surface on the friggin', um, on the friggin' emulators right here, okay? Because when you check this out, you know, I mean, just in name alone, there's like, there's like 4,000, you know, I mean, if you're into the old, old stand up game from like 1982 on, yeah, you, you know. You got plenty, man. You got more than what the hell you'll ever need. Okay? And then some. Alright? And that's only me. There's so much more. Okay? So, anyway, listen. Thanks, guys, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Ah, uh, yes. The fun things you can do with a two terabyte drive. Now, imagine a three terabyte drive. No. No. Don't. Do me the favor. Don't. Anyway. Listen. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, listen, thank you so much, all right, guys? Have a great night. Be safe. I'm going to soak my head. I've had enough for today, okay? 
Uh, tomorrow we're going to be uh, battling all kinds of send-ins and stuff like that. I'm going to get them done. Then i got a bunch of consoles i got to do. Uh, so, you know, I'm getting to them, man. As you can tell, guys, look, I'm up. Uh, what time is it now? 12.06, okay? Needless to say, I'm working, man. I'm only one guy. You see this? i got two. That's it. Now, if I can grab two more on, I would be able to actually move some something off of this desk to the right of me and then RGH over here while I'm RGHing over here. And then if I had a fifth hand, well, then I could whack myself off, okay? You know, while I'm doing that. So anyway, I'm, listen, oh, I'm delirious. Listen, good night, guys. Have a good one. Take it easy. Be safe. We'll do something bad even after me. Talk to you all later, guys.